Hey everyone, I was lucky enough to get a stream deck for Christmas, and I've been playing with it non-stop. While I was messing around, I thought I could share some of the tips and tricks I learn as I go with all of you. So my first tutorial is going to be how to make your own icons to customize your stream deck easily, and it will be completely free. So when you first start adding folders or actions to your stream deck, they're assigned a default icon. These icons aren't bad at all, but if you're like me and want to add a more personal touch, using custom icons is the way to go. Now if you don't want to make a bunch of icons for yourself, that is totally fine. The stream deck directory has quite a few that you can install for free, that can be used for base actions on your stream deck, and even specialty ones that can be used for popular programs like Photoshop, After Effects, or DaVinci Resolve. You can also utilize sites like Etsy to purchase pre-made icon packages and support small sellers at the same time. There are lots of options for the Stream Deck specifically, and you can even look into icon packs for certain apps or phones to see if they have some designs that'll fit what you're wanting to do on your deck. Now on to making them yourself. We're going to be using this awesome site called Canva. This site does have a pro option that unlocks more elements you can use, but there are plenty of free options as well. We're going to choose the logo template because you'll need a high quality square format for your icons, and this one is 500 by 500 pixels. The best thing about Canva is there are so many options. To not get overwhelmed, I think it's best to kind of think of a general theme or idea that you want your deck to have before starting off. There are also a few other things that I would recommend keeping in mind when making your icons. Number one, if you plan to add text, you want it to be clear and large. Keep in mind that the icons are going to be smaller on your deck, so your font could be harder to read if it's a bit more complicated. Number two, less is more when it comes to elements and extras. The deck lets you use plain images or GIFs, which I think is pretty awesome, but you need to keep that shrinkage in mind and not create something that's too busy or you may not be able to see a lot of that design in the end anyway. And number three, your colors are going to desaturate. The deck isn't going to show your images at their full saturation, so make sure you play up those colors. Pastels are possible, but I found that a soft purple and a soft blue may end up looking really similar, so tinker with them and just find the right hue that you like the most. For this video, I decided to make a few general icons for different folders on my deck. I wanted something colorful with fun clip art and a simple animation or two. With Canva, under their Elements tab, I just searched different keywords until I found some things that I liked and began assembling my icons.
Once you've made a design you like, you'll go to the top right corner of the page and hit the download button. Make sure you change the file type to GIF if it has an animated element, that way it shows up correctly on your deck. From there, you can then edit your design to create more icons for any other buttons you may have. One thing I do want to put out there when using Canva is that this site is for personal use only. From what I know, this site doesn't allow you to create designs with their elements and then resell them, so I wouldn't recommend making icon batches on here to profit from them. This tutorial is just to show you how to spruce up your own stream deck. Now I don't exactly know how it works if you buy the Canva Pro membership, so just do your own research if you are looking to make any kind of graphics using Canva um, to then sell on maybe like an Etsy or something. Once you've made all the icons you want, it's time to add them to our stream deck. In the main app, you'll locate the folder or icon you're wanting to replace. Then on the bottom, choose the arrow and the set from file option. Then just select your icon and it'll update. If you made animated icons, they won't play back in the stream deck app itself, but you will be able to see your animations on the actual deck. I hope this tutorial was a little helpful and that you're able to easily make something unique that you really love. Thank you all so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.